In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to read math questions. Your first instinct is probably to jump right to the math, but hang on a sec. If you take the time to read the question carefully and organize the information you've been given, you're much more likely to calculate the correct answer. With that in mind, let's attack our problems with three ways to organize information. Underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. Underlining, circling, and labeling, it's probably a good time to remind you that you can write in your test booklet. Let's put this strategy to use in a problem about three tail wagging dogs. Duke is six years older than Winston, and Winston is four years older than Lady. How many years older than Lady is Duke? The answer choices are A, four, B, six, C, 10, and D, 12. Here's a pro tip. Most of the time, you'll need all the information given in the question to solve the problem. So plan on using everything you now know about Duke, Winston, and Lady. First, let's underline the facts. Duke is six years older than Winston, and Winston is four years older than Lady. Now let's circle the key words that tell us what the question is asking. How many years older than Lady and is Duke? Finally, let's label the answer choices the number of years older Duke is than Lady. Before using this method, we had a whole bunch of words and numbers. Now we have manageable chunks and we're ready to do some calculations to solve the problem. While we're here, let's go ahead and solve this sucker using the picking numbers strategy. We'll go over this strategy in more detail later in the course, but for now, all you need to know is that since we're only looking at the relationship between ages, it doesn't matter what the actual ages are, so we can pick a number that's easy to work with for ladies' age. So let's say Lady is two. Since Winston is four years older than Lady, we simply add four plus two and get six. Next, Duke is six years older than Winston, so add six plus six, which equals 12. This is Duke's age. Then take Duke's age, 12, and subtract the number we picked for Lady, two, to get 10. So the difference between Duke's age and Lady's age is 10 years. Choice C. By underlining the facts, circling the keywords, and labeling the answer choices, you can decide how to tackle the problem. One last thing to look out for are clue words that indicate what you're solving for. Here's an inside scoop for you. One of the sneaky little traps that the SAT sets for you are the words not and accept, which are designed to catch you for careless reading. Let's look at an example. For which of the following values of x is x cubed is less than x not a true statement? The word not is practically hiding in there. So before you even look at the answers, circle or draw a symbol around not to make it stand out. The markings you make on the test booklet will be especially helpful when you're checking your answers at the end of the section, given you have time. Feel free to add your own symbols that will help you organize your info. Don't go overboard though, or you might wind up with a booklet full of mysterious hieroglyphs. So make sure you practice applying these tricks to the hundreds of questions available to you throughout this course.